Shalom, guys. All right, I really hope this one's going to work. <laughs> it's been, I guess this one's nine. <clears throat> trying to get this out. All right, here's the deal. What I was trying to explain to you guys, and the reason why you couldn't hear any sound, and I really hope you can now, is my drivers have been tampered with. Now, I'm involved in a legal situation right now, and I can't really talk about some of the things in there. I have an order against me. The one detail I can is the email that was originally connected to my YouTube account since 2009, somewhere around there, was a community email, and it got hijacked from me at a particular time uh, around April of last year. Um, those of you that were with me remember that I was in a lot of stress and anguish because you know I'd lost my Microsoft account and that particular one and it messed up my YouTube and a couple other things well that has surfaced again um, I had gotten the email back and uh, you know I documented any wrongdoing there and then it was taken from me again. So um, one of the things I'm having to defend myself from uh, in a hearing this Friday is that hacking into my own email. Um, so here's the deal. Somebody's hacked me and it is definitely connected as a third person to another person. And they knew what they're doing. Um, there are several files stolen, over 370, and uh, there are a particular type of files. And it really identifies who the person's persons were. Um, for the past few weeks, I, if some of you know that I've had to deal with um, some legal issues domestically and I've spent a lot of time studying civil law, some criminal law, um, statutes, uh, you think a lot of stuff um, and I'm not the you know, book type, uh, you know I hear better than I read. Anyway, <clears throat> it's consumed a lot of time and in that time someone baited me through the phone and through uh, email and got into my system and it was a it was a mistake on my part for allowing it to happen now m my files of code importance have been preserved um, this computer is still not, this is my desktop, uh, not secure my laptop is with one of the best in the business in uh, computers here in Dallas. Um, whoever did what they did, it's going to be traced. It, we'll find out who it was, um, and we'll go from there. So uh, until I get my laptop back, I'm on this. And so what you saw today was whoever's hacking is manipulating, cutting off my phone in the middle of conversation, muting it, um, doing the same thing with um, with my driver. Uh, it's very aggravating <laughs> and intrusive and uh, you know, it's a little arrogant really when a person does that. Um, it's wasted a lot of my time, money. Um, I've had to pay for two lawyers, and it's not cheap. I've been falsely accused of things that I have to defend myself on. Now, saying that, I have to stop doing uh, videos, period, because I had no control of my system. My Twitter was was tampered with. My Facebook was tampered with. Um, YouTube, Google accounts, the whole thing. It was a trickle-down effect until, you know, I had
had some help getting under control. Now it's contained at the moment, and the longer the person persons keep tampering, the easier it is going to be to track them down. Now there's nothing on here right now that can't be, you know, just wiped and just restored over. So I'm I'm, I'm using basics here. Um, I have to get through this thing Friday, and I need you guys to pray for me. I need covering and God's favor in this. He knows my heart. And he knows the heart of the, the other parties. Um, so pray for both of us in those things. Um, it's never a pleasant experience to have to go through something like that, especially when you're doing something in the public like this and it's affecting what you do. Um, and it has. You, some of you know very well and some of you have voiced it to me that uh, it's no secret that I've been going through things for over 18 months and uh, last year around April January through April it was tough and stressful we've made a lot of progress here and, and I don't mean just me I mean people that's been in this ministry helping uh, and there's a, over a dozen and, and you, you people mean a lot to me. Uh, I've been offline a lot this past week because of the, what's going on with my, with my systems, like the phones. The Android is one of the easiest to hack, and uh, you know, all my contacts got wiped clean. So I'm taking those back slowly. If if you called me or you messaged me and I'm saying who is this, that's why because I I can't see the profile anymore with 1100 contacts you, you just don't memorize them by heart it's all you know I have to see an image of who it is and, and, and things like that so all that's gone all it is is just numbers um, so slowly we'll work on getting that back um, and the other thing there's only two books left praise God only two left and the rest have sold um, and the book is revised Thank you to Leah. Look, God bless you, sister, for, for taking the time to do that. Um, it was a tremendous undertaking. And I got an email from Lou. He said it's um, you know it's, it's, being, it's getting fixed, and uh, there'll be another edition of it. Also, I got still got copies of the DVD that we did here in Dallas. Um, we haven't got to do anything else, folks, because the, the warfare has just been incredible. And also the things that I've been going through in, you know, my little life. So, that being said, um, I have to get through this Friday. And once that's done, we can get back to business. We'll have these computers secured and uh, tightened up. Uh, there's a lot that I need to get out. Several tables that I've been working on and you've been waiting on and uh, I get it I get it and you know the, I, I come under fire a lot guys doing this um, a lot of times with family and friends and people that are close to you are supposed to uh, you know edify and sometimes they tear you down so you know, I, I know a lot of you are tired of hearing about me so let me just say this something on my heart um, some brother I've known a couple of years uh, Edward Anton Antonio he, he just lost his wife and I, I'd like to ask that you, you pray for his family because uh, you know yeah, I was thinking about it all like all last night and uh, I know it's like to lose somebody and I'm thinking about you brother I'm praying for you and your, and your family and um, you know she saw the face of God, and uh, before any of us that we'll see it again. Um, so we pray for you, brother. Um, also, you know, the place I'm at now is uh, I was told by a friend of mine, "Don't you know you're in Ground Zero?" <laughs> uh, boy, were you not kidding? Um, 
you know, this whole thing with computers stress me out when, when, when this happens. It's happened before a couple times. Some of you that asked for the code program, you recall me telling you that that site was shut down because of a hacker. And, you know, I'm not the whiz of computers that you might assume that I am just because I can uh, see my way around codes, but capable enough to recognize what's going on. And I called a few things um, going on in my computer, and um, when I'm pretty occupied having to study laws and uh, prepare myself for something, and something happens blindsiding me, uh, you know, it'll, it'll rally you up. And, uh, you know, I'm just thankful for God to sustain me, for giving me the, you know, the, the wisdom to recognize those kind of things and didn't lose what I lost the last time when I lost the HP. Um, my new computer, my new laptop is in the, in the one in the shop right now. It's being checked out forensically uh, to try to get who did it. Now, don't be feeling bad for me. Don't have no pity on me. All right, I should have been tighter on that. I learned, should have learned the first time. Of course, when I made this move, uh, you, you know, there's a lot of bouncing around from here to there and, you know, secure systems. It just didn't happen. So, you know, it's been a hardship trying to pay the expenses of I have to and the lawyer fees. And, you know, I need the software, and it wasn't there. And it, it's being dealt with now. Anyway, um, hang in there. <laughs> there's still there's still work to do. I'm not giving up. I'm not being in, you know intimidated because my character is being assassinated, and that's as far as I can talk about that. Um, but be praying for me, guys. Friday, I need you. Lift me up. God knows the, the situation. And uh, I got faith that he, he will show favor. And due process, you know, I was kind of denied that for a month or two. And it's cost me. And, you know, in here. And it's going to be all right. We still, it's still a new code surgery. We're still going to keep going. God has done too much for me to give up. I've seen him do too much. Not just here in, in my life, but in other people's. If it was only just for one person, everything would be worth it. But it's just the, the feedback I get from you guys. And look, that doesn't strike my ego. I'm just thankful that God's doing something in your life. And he's opening eyes and he's showing you things. You know? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm really hoping this computer, it looks like it's working now. I had to re download some drivers and uh, get this thing running. I'm in a pretty good, you know, place here. Um, God's led me here for a reason, and it's for a season, and uh, he knew what he was doing. Um, and I'm okay. I know you, some of you, I, I didn't want to do this video, by the way, uh, but because of there's so many people concerned about me and what happened when I didn't, you know, wasn't able to show up with the, uh, Pastor Lene, uh, well, you know, that was the night my phone was wiped. And then, you know, my computer was not letting me be a D administrator, I'll just say that. Uh, it was being tampered with at that time, and I was busy trying to fix it. And uh, I've lost a lot of weight, sleep, hair. Look at this. Yeah, I'm a mess. But guys, I love you. I love the people who did it. I'm not angry. You know, I'm disappointed because what I did was try to take back my uh, rightful email and also show some credibility of whoever did that but it wasn't to be malicious it was to establish 
something. Um, so it's almost over, guys. It's almost over, and and I can get back to business and you know doing what God's called me to do. Um, that's all I can do. I have nothing else but God. That's it. And uh, you get subscribers. Some of you that that stick with me, that pray for me, that encourage me. Um, I'm thankful for you. People like Edward, who just lost his wife. You know, I'm feeling for you there, brother. Um, I know it's hard, man. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to bed. It's like 1.45. So, please, Father, let this video work. God, I give you all the glory and the honor. You're so worthy, Father. God, and I thank you for this ministry, Lord, for the fellowship with these people. I ask that you, you mend the hearts of those in Edward's family that just lost their loved one. In Yeshua's name, amen. All right, guys. I got, uh, I got a couple of days to do some preparation, and then I'll get back with you. So um, until I get my system you know, secured, I'm not going to be able to put something out. Um, it is too risky for me right now. I'm fighting to keep this from being totally wiped out. I mean, that's just the way it is. And anybody wants some books, I still got two of the the original version left. Ten dollars. Um, then we'll go back to um, the new one. So, all right. God bless you. See you in the next video.